Hi, this is Mike Lingle, and it's the end of the year, and we're talking about setting goals so that we can accomplish what we want to accomplish with our companies in the next year. And we've been talking about OKRs, which are objectives and key results, and uh, that's really how we're going to get to where we're trying to get to. And I've talked about how to set them, how to set your OKRs individually, but now let's talk about how teams and organizations use OKRs. So on Wikipedia, it says the main goals of OKRs are to connect company, team, and personal objectives to measurable results, making people move together in the right direction. So if you're on your own, you have personal objectives. If you're on a team or in an organization, you can stack those objectives on top of each other. So who's using OKRs? Intel really pioneered OKRs, and again, they came from smart goals. And then Google has become the poster child for OKRs, but other companies use them too. NerdWallet, Spotify, LinkedIn that just sold to Microsoft for $20 billion. Uh, so all kinds of companies and all kinds of teams are using OKRs. And why are we using them? Well, the first way is to measure progress. Um, so OKR stands for Objective and Key Result. And so objectives are the top layer. That's where we're trying to get. The key result is how we measure that so we can measure our progress. And then there's a third layer that they don't talk about as much, which is the key actions. And that's what everyone's doing in their day to day to move things forward. And so we can measure our progress and we can also focus on what's important. If I know that these are my three objectives, if I have some task, I can decide, is it helping me achieve those objectives or not? And if it's not, I can deprioritize it. So I can also filter out what's not important the same way I can focus on what's important. And time management is something that entrepreneurs uh, fight with all the time. People are always asking, how do I know what to work on or what to focus on? The answer is OKRs. Uh, and the last way is to communicate with others. Uh, and that goes back to that Wikipedia quote. And so uh, here's another quote. The right way to look at OKRs is a way to communicate so there's clarity of purpose. Having public goals forces different types of thinking around how to ask people for help from others. And that's from the CEO of Swipely. So basically, if you're at Google, the organization has OKRs, your team has OKRs, and then the members of your team all have individual OKRs. And it all feeds up. So your OKRs feed into the team OKRs, feed into the corporate OKRs. And everyone can see each other's OKRs, so it's all public. So again, if I want to get something done, I can look at your OKRs and see, is what I'm going to ask you, does that align with your objectives or not? And I can filter out um, your task list for you, and you can filter out your task list the same way. So as a group, we all focus on what we need to, and we can measure if we're getting to where we're trying to get to. So thank you so much. Give it a shot. If you're on a team, you know, come up with some team goals and then bring it down into your own personal goals, share them with each other, allow yourself to see each other in motion as you're moving ahead, and uh, subscribe, watch the channel, visit, the, uh, visit my website at mikelingle.com. Let me know how it goes. Thank you.